Hi and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike with Designs by M and today I am bringing you a galaxy card. I did create three galaxy backgrounds here that you can see in the photo. I am going to show you how I created one of them because all three were created exactly the same way and as you can see they have three totally different um, looks there. It was really easy and a lot of fun. I hadn't created backgrounds before so I just googled and I found some tutorials and it was actually really easy. So I'm going to show you how I did it and I also want to let you know that this video is part of the Just Cards video hop. So I will have links in the description box below for other designers that are participating in the hop. So when you're finished watching this video, please make sure you jump on over to those links and follow the other designers. I'm sure you'll be quite impressed with what they have in store for you. So let's get started. So first I'm going to go ahead and use my distress sink. Now I'm using a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of Nina Solar White. And to start off, the colors that I'm using of the Distress Sinks are Seedless Preserves, Worn Lipstick, Squeezed Lemonade, and then once I've got a whole bunch of that on there, I'm going to switch over to some Faded Jean. I'm going to bring that in on the edges there and just a little bit in the, the middle to tone down some of those colors. And then once I've found that I liked the way the faded jean is, I'm going to switch over to some black soot and I'm going to work those again from the edges and then kind of throughout the project. And it slowly starts to come together. At first I was panicky because I'm thinking this does not look like space. This just looks like a whole bunch of mess. But if you keep at it, eventually it really does look like a galaxy. And so I'm going to continue there adding my black soot. And then once I have that looking pretty much the way I want it, I'm going to take some water and I'm going to mist the water. I have a spray bottle there that I sprayed on that and then I blotted that off. And because it's Distress Oxide ink, it will react to the ink. And now I need to add some stars and I am using some Hero, White's, Hero Arts White Pigment ink mixed with a little water and yep as you can tell because it is mixed with water that does mix with the Distress ink and so it is a little light but on the last card that I did I did switch over to some acrylic paint and added a little bit of water and I really like that look a lot better. So now it is time to stamp out the images. So I am using two sets from Lawn Fawn. I'm using Beam Me Up and Out of This World. And I'm stamping that with Memento Tuxedo Black ink because I will be using alcohol markers to color those in. And that is a safe, mark, or safe ink to use with alcohol markers. There's just something about stamping, which is just a neat process. You can watch video and you can watch photos but when you actually stamp your own images, it's, it's just really neat to see them come to life. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of my images off screen as well as color those off screen, but I will show you coloring on these images here. I am using my Bic markers, which are alcohol markers, and I like the way that they go on. You really don't see any brush or sketch lines or stroke lines. They do smooth out pretty nicely. And they do give a nice coverage. They do blend a little bit as you can see in the flame there in the bottom. I used an orange and a yellow and they do blend slightly. Nothing like what a Copic marker would do. There's really no comparison. I don't own any Copic markers because I'm starting out coloring. So I have really basic supplies but I do want to show you that you know whatever you have will pretty much work. And so these I got off Amazon and it came in a 48 pack and it really wasn't that expensive, but it got me started and I'm able to create some pretty nice things with what I have. So I went ahead and I colored in the rocket and the planet there and now I am coloring in the little spacecraft and again just using my big markers there. I'm not, I didn't plan to do a whole lot of blending anyways because I'm not, I really don't even know how to blend. I'm going to start watching videos and try to learn a little bit and see what I can do. But for right now, I think the card's going to come out really nice with the way I have it. 
As you can see, the videos are sped up quite a bit. I do that because I'm not sure if you guys would prefer to watch it real time and the video be quite a bit longer, or if you like the way I've been doing it and speeding up sections so that you get the overview. If you could leave me some comments in the description box below, it would be great. I would really love to know if you want me to speed up parts so that you get the overview, but an overall shorter video, or keep everything at normal speed and the video will be a little bit longer. I would appreciate that. So now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. My background has dried. I started off with dusting the area with my anti-static tool just to remove any static because I am going to be heat embossing this. So I am stamping with my Versamark ink pad and I will be pouring some silver fine detailed embossing powder and then heating with my heat tool and it really comes to life. It's kind of hard to see in the video and even in the photos at the end, but in real life, the, uh, the silver really pops out and it looks really great. It came out really nice. And there was a really quick shot of that there. So now it's time to assemble my card. I am using a four and a quarter by five and a half card base. I am using my Scotch ATG gun to adhere the panel to the card base. And I'm going to go and use some foam squares to adhere the elements to the card. Now on some of the pieces, I did use some glossy accents and I just squeezed that on to some of the elements and then I put them off to the side to dry for several hours. I will show you an up close shot of that at the end. I am using some Wink of Stella just to give a little bit of shine and shimmer to the card because I thought it would look neat. And to top it off, I am using some mini stars from Pretty Pink Posh and adhering those with some multimedia matte. And I think that gives it a really nice look with the stars in there as well. It's pretty cool. And lastly, just to give it a little bit more dimension and a little bit more shine onto the card, I will be using some Perfect Pearls in the color Pearl and they're, they're really silver, so it's like a little silver paint that I went ahead and added and little drops and it looks really nice. They just look like bigger stars or smaller planets and it gives the card a lot more shine and I think it came out great. And there are my two finished cards. Two backgrounds and they look really different, but it was exactly the same process. I'm trying to show you how shiny it is. You can see some of those stars twinkle there. And I will show you an up close shot of the spaceman. He is the one that I put glossy accents on. And in this shot, you can see some of the Wink of Stella up at the top there on the left on that planet. And I think it looks really cute. I think these both of these cards came out really neat. And here's an up close shot of the little space guy there. You can see he is really shiny. I wanted to try to give his helmet there kind of like a real type of helmet look. So the glossy accents does make that really shiny and give it that look I was looking for. And there you have two really cute galaxy cards. I really like how these came out. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Don't forget, I am part of a video hop today for the Just Cards video hop, so there are links in the description box below. Please go check those links out and visit the other designers that are part of the hop. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love reading your comments. And until next time, have a great day.